Well, what do you know? Shock horror, everyone. I've been to some charity shops and I've bought some stuff. Welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris and today I've been to some charity shops and for crying out loud, I can't believe it, I've actually picked some stuff up. It's the first time in bloody ages I bought anything in the UK charity shops. Um, and actually I've done pretty well. We went to an area of Exeter we've never been before. We got recommended to try it. We did and we found some stuff. Um, I didn't have my camera with me, so you've got no footage inside the charity shop. So this is everything that I picked up that I'm about to show you right now. I spent £38. I think there's over £200 worth of stuff here. It's not a big haul, but there's some valuable items here. Before I get going, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, okay, the first thing I spotted was this vintage... Um, sports sort of college it's kind of like a baseball style top i think it's georgetown hoyers that's who the team is or the college the georgetown hoyers um and the label was eight pound it's a size large it's really nice it's in excellent condition you can see the little logos on there it's not, it's, um, you don't normally see much vintage stuff in the charity shops unless they've got a deal with some of the vintage wholesalers. And sometimes you're starting to see that vintage clothing come through from wholesalers um, into the charity shops. But this is pretty nice. Um, £8 paid. Actually, there's one very similar that's sold on eBay for £50. So why the hell not? I'm going to try for 50 on that and hopefully we'll get a bit of luck with that one. Um, yeah, that's a nice one. Next thing, um, was this beanie hat? Belle spotted this. Um, it was one ninety nine, and it's a basketball. It's got a big C on the front, and obviously that C is for Chicago. This is not the normal colouring or logo for the um, Chicago Bulls. But could it be the Chicago Bulls? What do you think? If you if you know your basketball or your American sports, what do you think of that? Is it is it another team? Maybe a you know a college team or a university or something. Um, it's made by City Hunter. It's one ninety nine. I thought it was worth a go. Um, I'm thinking maybe about fifteen pound on that. We're coming into the right period of the year. Winter beanie hats are gonna go well. Um, what about this? This little Teletubby? Um, I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a backpack and obviously when the backpack goes on, the Teletubby is sort of facing that way. So it looks like they're on, on the kid's back, basically. Um, £2.50. It's in pretty nice condition. Needs a little wipe round on the face. Uh, but for £2.50, definitely picking that up because I think... Hmm, Possibly worth about £20, I reckon, that one. Um, yeah, so there you go. Our total is creeping up here. And what about these? I saw these. These were £2.50. Uh, in, uh, I think they were in like a cabinet or something. Um, camcorder DVD uh, rewriting discs. New and sealed. And there's seven in there. It's not often you see a seven pack. Um, I think these are worth about 35 quid. Because you can, you normally get a three pack, and I think a three pack's worth about twenty. So hmm, I'm guessing a seven pack, maybe about thirty five for that, and that cost me two pound fifty. So new and sealed old media like that, people want it because you can't buy it anymore new, you know, like proper new. Um, before it dies out, people want this stuff; it's in demand. So maybe 35 on that. For a £2.50 spend, that's not bad at all. What about this for a hoodie? I didn't know what this was. I bought it completely blind. I had no idea. Um, I assumed it was some kind of band. Now, probably you guys will be screaming at me, telling me who that is. It says 5FDP. 
and I had no clue whatsoever. It's got the branding on the back as well. Red blooded roughneck son of a bitch. Charming. Uh, goddamn American capitalists. Uh, 5FDP. I did look it up. I just looked it up. And it's, it's already gone in here, out there. Um, it's a 2011, so it has got some good age to it. Five, five finger death punch. That's it, isn't it? Five finger death punch. I'm guessing it's some kind of rock or heavy metal, but I could be completely barking up the wrong tree and really, really giving this band a bad name. I don't know. Um, when I come to list it, I'll do my research properly. Don't worry. Five finger death punch. Lovely. Oh, um, it cost me five pound, funnily enough. So five finger death punch cost me five pound. Actually, it's got some good value, this. I think about 35 quid for that, believe it or not. Now we go from five finger death punch to the world's biggest band. And they probably couldn't be more different than five finger death punch. BTS. Uh, Bell picked this one up. It's a BTS doll. I don't know which one it is. No clue whatsoever. But this is the biggest band in the world. They are huge. They are massive. There's about 50 of them in the band. I paid £2 for it. I think... Um, I don't think it's worth loads. Maybe a tenner. Which is quite surprising, really. I thought it might be worth a bit more. Um, okay, another hoodie. Perfect time for hoodies, isn't it? This is a meaty one. This is meaty. Um, it was from the same place as I picked up the Five Finger Death Punch. I quite like saying that now. Uh, this was £6. And this... Is it reversible? I didn't actually come around to check it. It's reversible. That's a bonus. So it's got this skull design. And then on the inside, it's got this purple type design. I can't even see what it is. But this is a brand to look out for. It's called Living Dead Souls. Um, and I've picked up Living Dead Souls stuff before and it pretty much sells. It sells itself. Very sought after. Just look it up now. Go and have a look yourself. Living Dead Souls sells. Souls. Living Dead Souls sells. There you go. Um, there you go. It is. This is actually a size I don't know because it's probably in the pocket. It's an XL. Uh, yeah, it's a nice meaty hoodie. I think that's a great design on it, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, cost price six pound. That could be 40 quid there. And the last thing that I've got to share with you, um, the lady in the shop, the, I think she was the manager, she was just pricing these up as I walked in. So I kind of hovered a bit to have a look what they were. And um, they are, it's a bungle of Guardians of the Galaxy figures. And they are, what year? 2014, no, 2016. Um, and there's some here, 2014, I think. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six. And I'm aiming to keep these together. Uh, because I think this would be a really nice Christmas present for some kid into the Guardians. Um, because you get to get like a big bungle of figures all at once. So what is here? Well, we've got Groot. I probably don't know all the names of these. Even though I, am, I do like Guardians of the Galaxy a lot. So we've got Groot there. I don't know what that one is. I can't remember his name. That's bad, isn't it? Star-Lord, I remember him. He's the main man, isn't he? Um, don't know what her name is, forget. I ain't got a clue. Um, Rocket, I know that one. Rocket the raccoon. Uh, I should know him, but I don't. Um, so she was she was pricing them up at two pound each. And there's an accessory there as well, which I'm not sure which one. Whoops-a-daisy, whoops-a-daisy. Which that goes with. Okay, so she was pricing them up at two pound each. And um, when I was looking, I was kind of hovering, thinking, "Do I? is there enough money in it at that price? So that would have been £12. She said I could have them all for £10. So I'm like, hmm. 
just because it's movie stuff and I like Guardians of the Galaxy, I bought it at £10. What I'm going to aim to do is keep those together into one bungle. Um, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking about 30-ish on those um, to keep them together. I need to do a bit of checking on each one to see what the individual values are. Um, but yeah, they are not expensive figures. These are cheap ones. But the fact that they are bungled together might give them value as a whole. Uh, these are not expensive figures at all. These are probably about, if I had to guess, these are these are like £6 figures each one, probably. Unless there's any that are particularly sought after. But I can't imagine that they are. They look pretty standard. Probably £6 each. So I'm thinking maybe £30 for the lot. Um, yeah. There you go. So that was a £10 spend. So that was it. So I was pleasantly surprised. I was disappointed I didn't have my camera with me. But at least I got some stuff from a charity shop. There is still stuff to be found, albeit it's very few and far between, and you're paying up a lot more than what we used to. There you go. If you don't like it, we don't go in charity shops. We were going for fun, and we found some stuff. Um, that's it. Don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Do them both together. You might as well. Take care. See you later.